Watching out for you on air, online, on the go. This is 24 Hour News 8. Amazing video released today showing a Walgreens pharmacist firing back at masked robbers. Now the pharmacist from Benton Harbor is suing the company saying that he was fired for defending himself. 24 Hour News 8's Henry Yurg has the story. Mr. Hoven, by way of this lawsuit, is challenging Walgreens' right to fire him for exercising his right of self-defense. Former Walgreens pharmacist Jeremy Hoven says he got a gun and a concealed weapon from it after a 2006 robbery, after which he claims Walgreens failed to improve security. The in-store video shows what happened at 4.30 in the morning, May 8th this year, in a Walgreens store just outside Benton Harbor, where Hoven was working the overnight shift. It shows two masked men running into the store. One of the masked men leaps over the pharmacy counter into Hoven's work area. Hoven says he pulled his gun and backed away as the gunman pulled the trigger three times, but that gun didn't fire. Hoven says he shot back. I feared for my life. And in self-defense, I fired my weapon as I continued to move from him. The gunman apparently unhurt ran. One of the crooks dropped his gun on the way out. Within a week, Walgreen fired Hoven. He says for violating a non-escalation policy that he says he's never seen. Walgreen did not reply to a request for an interview, but in a response to the lawsuit, contends that the company does have a plausible and legitimate business reason to justify its decision and says that Hoven had no right to carry or discharge a weapon at any time in its store. Companies that do not allow employees to defend themselves put the employee in the position of simply submitting possibly being killed, or if they react in self-defense, being fired. That's a Hobson's choice that no employee should be placed in. In Grand Rapids, Henry, or 